Do you want to learn everything you need to know about Wicca? You will learn more from this single book than from all the others put together. Listen on. There are too many obnoxious beliefs attached to the Wiccan religion and practice, and this has done more harm than good. A disturbing fact is that so many Wiccan practitioners still fail to benefit from the tremendous things that are attached to religion. Contrary to what a lot of individuals think, Wicca is a peaceful practice and doesn't promote evil in any form. With the right information on what is Wicca, which are the main tools used by Wiccans, how to use these tools in your rituals, you are guaranteed an immediate answer to your needs. All you have to do is follow the process. As a matter of fact, you don't have to be experienced to get it right. The only criterion for an effective result is your willingness to follow the instruction contained in the book. Two important qualities to be a successful Wiccan practitioner are dedication and interest. As long as these are in place, you have little or nothing to worry about. Here are all the tools you learn thanks to this book. Candles and how to use it. Herbs, what kind and why to use it. The five essential crystals for any Wiccan. How to read and properly use tarot's and which are the best essential oils. Wicca for Beginners is more of an enlightening guide for anyone that wants to have a handle on the beautiful religion. Serving as both a guide and mind enlightenment, it is detailed with information that will make even the most complex art of witchcraft look as simple as swiping your phone. Being a Wicca is not only about doing magic, but it is also more than that. Rich in detail, it is simplified to make even the hardest charging of tools easy for you. Don't be left out. Get the answers that would make your life easier and the world a beautiful place to be. Chapter 1 What is Wicca? Wicca is culture modeled after the traditions in existence before the coming of Christianity into Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. You could call it having a deep connection to the nature around us. It is appreciating things like the sunrise, sunset, or the little things around us. You might find joy in such things as the way the morning dew is balanced on the petals of a flower. In essence, Wicca is when one finds joys in the healing of others through natural means, seeking or protecting the natural things. It might even be when you have the desire to teach others about the intricacy of the naturalness of life. Origin of Wicca To take a more in-depth look at Wicca is to firstly understand that the processes defined up there have been at the pre-Christianity era. They have been used in the healing of people and had been used to improve several medical knowledges. However, unlike Christianity, Many of these great understandings were not thoroughly documented. Thus, when Christianity entered these high countries of the United Kingdom, it was easy to blot out some information. In reality, the word Wicca actually was the initial way of referring to witches at those times. However, when nomenclature moved from town to town, there was a shift in the pronunciation, making the name change from what it had been known for. In fact, through the help of archaeologists, it is believed that this belief system emanated from the worship of hunter god and a fertility goddess by the Paleolithic people. These archaeologists traced their existence to about 30,000 years ago. Their discovery was made through the study of such things as cave paintings. The painting depicted a man who had a head of a stag and a pregnant woman in a circle created by 11 people. It is no longer news that a lot of information has been lost in the Christianity era, but many people have made several deductions and cold calculations that has helped in restricting the system. Thus, it can be concluded that Wicca is focused on the beliefs in the worship of the god and goddess. Anyone with the knowledge of Wicca 
is prone to study more about herbs and have a wide range of education and lines of medicine. In the days of predating Christianity, many witches were among the shaman. In ancient history, there was a sort of respect accorded Wiccans because witchcraft was regarded as a craft of the wise. One primary reason was that they were tuned to nature and had a vast knowledge of herbs and medicine, making them a very essential part of the survival of the villages or communities they resided in. Because of their understanding of how humans were just a part of the whole elements of nature, they have a way of reminding people of this salient point. Humans were not superior to other aspects of life, but are simply a part of the whole process. Thus, they always tend to help in the creation of balance and equilibrium of life. There is every assurance that the modern man has lost this value and has placed a higher value on the superiority of the existence of humans. And we can clearly see this in the recent happenings around us, including the ecological disasters around us as well as the extinction of individual animals because of the human greed and desire for material wealth. This problem has its consequences. The eventual destruction of some unique animals or insects might lead to the extinction of the human species. The past hundred years have unfortunately painted a bad image of witches. For some reason, they have been regarded as evil, unrighteous, and heathen. These misconceptions, however, emanated from centuries into the coming of Christianity. When the medieval church began in the 15th century, certain myths were propagated among people, especially followers of this religion. The underlying message was that their faith was filled with evil and oppressive methods. Their minds were warped to believe they had been using diabolical means into the creation of balance. In other words, their servitude and reverence of nature were regarded as service to devils and demons. The missionary projected fear on the mind of people and made them suspicious of their gods because many of them were regarded as demon-filled deities. In fact, tales and imaginations were built around witches as wicked people. The result thereof was that they were able to convert people through their fear. Not far from the coming of Christianity, there was the influx of medical science, which further made people have disregard for nature-based worship. Medical science, however, allowed people to have a standardized study of the human body, thus disregarding the potency of nature-based worship. The studies that have been carried out on several occasions were done by men who were oblivious to many of the problems faced by women. This ignorance was one of the tools used by the church. Several of the missionaries were really vast in the knowledge of science and could easily find fault with the knowledge of the witches. Their credence made it easy for the church to seem superior and thus proved their erroneous beliefs as right, giving their witch hunt credibility. The misinformation further went on to hold a lot of people bound that it was easy to stop these traditions that many are yearning for in its existence today. Looking at the glimpse of some of these traditions has proved itself to something that the world needs today, but the knowledge is just limited.